Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to Crypto India. I hope you guys are doing good. So this is the channel we talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain, ICOs, news developments and sentiments. So welcome back and if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click on subscribe so that you do not miss out on any of these important updates. So we will start today's news of coinmarketcap.com, the regular price. So as spoken to you guys in my last video yesterday, last night, last late night in fact, when the prices started crumbling again uh, after the China announced that they, they may go ahead and stop the cryptocurrency exchanges in, in, in China to, uh, to trade and after which this market has started crumbling down again. So uh, again, uh, this, this, this is a rumor because all of the exchanges in China are still working but still it has impacted the price so uh, the, starting with the price bitcoin is about 4214 us dollar which is down by 8.33 percent you have ethereum at uh, 292 down by 10 percent so it has it is below 300 us dollar now you have bitcoin cash as 574 us dollar minus 13 percent you have ripple at not much of a difference 21 cents and you have Litecoin at 66 US dollar. I think this is the right time to get into it. It touched actually 80 yesterday, I guess, yesterday morning. Uh, Dash is around 326. So I think I, I can see uh, most of these cryptocurrencies are in minus again. And uh, China has again uh, played that role of uh, trying to spoil things. But I also have a good news for you guys. Uh, which is coming from Canada, you know. So how we have these uh, when it comes to traditional uh, investment investment uh, investments, you how you have these companies, you know, uh, like a fund manager companies who which actually handle the investment portfolio portfolios of individuals and they actually uh, invest into different stocks and uh, they offer some kind of return, right? Now a similar business model has been proposed in some. In Canada and to uh, and in fact the Canada regulators have have gone ahead and approved this business model uh, which I have the news right now so this is uh, so the news is this that Bitcoin fund manager wins approval from Canadian regulars regulators so security regulators in Canadian province of British Columbia have granted an official registration to an investment firm that plans to launch a Bitcoin tied fund Okay, and this is this is being approved by British Columbia Securities Commission (BCSC). So, like I said, uh, guys, Canada has always been uh, uh, pioneer when it comes to adopting new technologies and understanding new technologies, and uh, they have approved the first one, the first such fund manager company which will be dealing only with cryptocurrencies. So, like an individual who can who can approach them. Uh, for their fund management for their portfolio management and uh, they will offer certain returns and this is this is as per the regulations of the Canadian government and uh, and they have also gone ahead and said that we uh, so this is a statement by Zach Museum who is the leader of the tech team at fintech arm um, at the BCSC so Zach has to say that we strongly encourage other companies in British Columbia whether they are potentially new registrant or existing investment fund manager to contact us to contact BCSC and if they are considering pursuing cryptocurrency investments in their funds so he has actually uh, gone ahead and given all given an invitation to all the existing companies if there some companies who are dealing with cryptocurrencies fund management uh, to approach them and to get to get it registered you know so which is which is an amazing thing so uh, I don't know uh, how do you think about it but I think it's a very very positive move when it comes to cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin the things like this will uh, will tr will build more belief and trust in people's mind and uh, it will only take it mainstream even faster so that's the news uh, and of course the China has been struggling a big time in understanding uh, what to do and what not to do the China seems to be the most confused country as of now and uh, and other countries are actually uh, quite ahead of China. So let us let us uh, in terms of regulations, of course, the Chinese do have the biggest mining farms. Uh, 
the biggest mining farms of Bitcoin are in China. About 70% of Bitcoin mining does happen in China. So I'm just hoping that they would be coming out with some good regulations and they would be stable on their decisions and not will be changing the decision and every now and then. Now let's come back to India. So we have uh, a Unocoin, which is uh, one of the India's popular Bitcoin exchange is holding a Bitcoin meetup uh, here in Mumbai at Rise. So if you are around in Mumbai, uh, I would like you guys to invite there and uh, come and be a part of it. Because when these kind of events happen, when you meet a people, you really, uh, uh, you know, you really get to learn a lot of things. So uh, this is this is this is at Mumbai. So I'm not sure which city of India are you in, but I'm sure there are a lot many meetups are happening nowadays in almost every city. And uh, it's just about keeping a track of those meetups and going and attending them. So if you are in Mumbai, I'm looking forward to meet you there. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that's it for now. Let me know uh, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, any ICOs that you would want to talk about or anything like that. So thank you so much for watching guys this one. I hope you will uh, you liked it and uh, I wish you a very happy uh, day ahead and thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed click and go ahead and click on subscribe so that you do not miss out on any of these important informations right so thank you so much guys and see you in my next video